Hey there, lads and lasses. This here is Thunderhand64 coming at you live from the west coast of the United States here on a Sunday afternoon. It is a little bit past 4 o'clock, and that can only mean that it's time for Kachi time! <laughs> Look at Kachi. All right, let's, let's raise him on the uh, Discord over here. Unmuting. Kachi, can you hear us? Yeah. There he is. Yeah. How you doing, son? Good. Just designing stuff. Just designing stuff. Alrighty. Uh, let me see. Let's do a screen share for you, and let's see what you're working on, okay? okay then you can do the explanations. Perfectly located. Okay. All right. You want to might want to move your mic a little closer to your face so we can hear you a little better. Hello. Yeah. Much better, son. You put your right about down there. Okay, so it looks like you're in Obby Creator. Yeah. And it looks like you're designing towers. This is not a tower. This is a... Uh, uh, the bots. Oh, the bots? Okay. The bots. one of the bosses that I'm designing. All right, one of your I bosses. Guess. Yeah, for uh, insane mode, which for is uh, if you play Tower Blitz, is like expert mode and, or TDS, like fallen mode. But uh, insane is like the format is more like Tower Blitz's uh, expert mode. Uh -huh. But like the level it's on is if you play like TDS, then it would be like fallen mode level. Well, yeah, probably Fallen mode level. Fallen, like, between Fallen mode and Hardcore. Okay. Yeah, but this is his arm. Wow, your screen's looking a little choppy there. It might be because I have a lot of tabs open. Well, yeah. I only have one, two, three, four, five. So I only have five. Five tabs open on Google? <laughs> yeah. That's that's a lot. Yeah, if there's anything that well, you can minimize or that's running in the background that you can shut down, you should. I can't close Discord. Okay, I just yeah. closed Roblox. So. All right, that might help a little bit. If not, yeah, you know, we may do like a be right back and then we'll uh, reboot your uh, Wi-Fi. And see if that helps. Yeah, but here's his arm. Yeah, it looks like it's smoothed out a little bit. Okay, so you're working on some of the arm details? Yeah. All right, so this is one of your bosses. So um, let me see. Would this be, like, associated with a level? Like, uh, usually have, what, 100 levels? Like player level or, like, waves? Waves. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I don't know what wave this will be. Okay. But it'll be one of the bosses from the final 10 waves, kind of like Tower Blitz. A lot of this is like Tower Blitz. If you yeah. play Tower Blitz, you probably will see a lot of references or stuff that looks a lot like Tower Blitz's stuff. So mm -hmm. just be prepared if you play Tower Blitz. Yeah, because that is the inspiration for Kachi's uh, dummy defense game. Yeah, the main inspiration. Most towers have, uh, most towers and enemies are kind of like just parts from towers and enemies from tower blitz <laughs> like fused together and also our own stuff as well right so for those of you who are not in the know uh kachi and kachi's friends are uh designing their own game in uh roblox called dummy defense it's a tower defense kind of game uh inspired by that and so they're doing all tower the blitz. model making tower blitz yeah sorry and they're doing all the model uh, making, all of the programming for it, and Lua. And, um, yeah, they've been doing some amazing stuff. I hate this this part about Obby Creator so much because there's a glitch that they still have not fixed where, where sometimes if you try to select multiple things one at a time, it just doesn't select it. Oh, yeah. So uh, what Kachi typically does is uh, he'll use uh, a Roblox uh, app called Obby Creator. 
And it's a game. Yeah, mostly. well, it's a game, yeah, yeah technically. But, well, it's on the Roblox app itself. Right. Or website, if you, if you depending on what, what, what you got. Right, and so he does most of the model uh, making for his game uh, in Obby Creator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's also this guy. All right, yeah, I, I really like how this guy came out. I yeah, so he has... Oh, you go first? No, no, you go ahead. It's all right. Okay. So, uh, it's robotic overseers, new and old designs, a shield enemy from expert. Uh, there's also a diminisher and councilmen. They're like, uh, we took a bunch of parts from them and kind of fused it together. Right. So, uh, Kachi took a bunch of their features as inspiration. And then made this from that. Yeah, the the differences are like this part right here is not what robotic overseer is like. What is that? Like his like part of his coat. Like some enemies have coats and it right. kind of like hangs down there. Like right. Yeah, like that part. It's different. Uh, this leg piece is different as well. Mm -hmm. Uh. This, this, like, collar is also different. The torso is different. The helmet is also a bit different. Same for the uh, wing stuff. Oh, so, yeah, also those of you who model. play Tower Blitz will, will recognize a lot of this. Oh, yeah, like, uh, the NPC, one of my friends who was, like, level 49 or 47 in Tower Blitz, mm -hmm. uh, he just walked up and, like, that, that's, uh, that's, overlord and and then i'm like w try again and he said that's councilman and he was right it is it is a lot mm. there's a lot of councilman in it so like if you're very experienced in tower blitz you'll probably just walk up to a boss and say like oh that's that boss from tower blitz or like that's that's tower from tower blitz yeah you should be rec you should be able to recognize kachi's inspirations oh yeah also here's a uh, gunner's mountain mini gun i made and then, you know, Kachi, uh, why don't you um, uh, review for people uh, who's on your development team and who does what, basically? Uh, okay. Tezzy is the owner and mostly gun designer. He also has made some tower designs and uh, most ideas. And mm -hmm. uh, the reason why this boss looks like this is because of Tezzy Vu. Because he told me instructions, I did it. And uh, he yeah, so he kind of owns the game, so he's the owner. I am the founder okay. of the game. Okay. Uh, I make most tower designs, like this turret I made. Uh-huh. Uh, I made most enemy designs, like this guy, mm -hmm. but it's not done because he looks goofy <laughs> Uh, Yeah, like Tezzy made this model right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah uh, like and... Uh, Howards are nice. Yeah, and also I have done the scripting and all the music for the game. Uh huh. And uh, my brother Biggie, he has made one song for the game as well. Well, oh, it really? wasn't originally for it wasn't originally for the game, but it it I I liked it and I asked him and he said yeah sure. <laughs> all right, so those are the OSTs, right? Yeah, and if you join the Discord server, uh, uh, the first. In the first new public, there's a music not fake channel, and uh, that's where. Uh, wait, yeah, that's where almost all of the music is for the game. <laughs> Alrighty, and so um, I, I still haven't done it yet, but I will have uh, links for Kachi's uh, Discord, for the uh, dummy defense and and all of his stuff there. And um, also his uh, YouTube channel, because he um, uploads a lot of his OSTs there, too. I've, yeah, but if you want to get it early, like, right, usually right when I'm done with a song, I'll post it to the Discord first and then make the uh, make, make the video right. for it. Discord and then video, got it. Yeah, so if you want it to see it early, go to the Discord, and if you want to just listen to the video on loop, because for some reason Discord doesn't do that, and if also if you're on mobile, because... I don't know why, but mobile, you just can't listen to the music on Discord. You, you're forced to download it, and then you can't even listen to it when you're done downloading it. Really? Huh. 
I'll have to look into that. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah. So if you want to get it early, uh, and you're on uh, you're not on mobile, you can you can listen to it early. But if you don't want to listen to it early, or you are on mobile, just just go to the YouTube. All right. So that's what Tezzy does, and that's what you do. Yeah. Also, I did all the GOI as well. Okay. And then, and then uh, who uh, else? Anus Goran guy. He made a couple of tower designs. He uh, he made a bunch of ideas as well. He helped. He helped with this map a lot because he helped with the road, trees, uh, bushes. He this entire exit itself he made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and he's like. So he's the main map designer for this, okay. and he's really good at it. I can't compete with that. That's a yeah. underscore random guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then let me see. There's one other person, right? Uh yeah, TV. Uh, TZ most Lando. Of, most. Yeah. Uh, he. He's made. He's made a lot of ideas. Uh, he's also. Uh, yeah, I think I think he mostly just makes the mo makes makes ideas. <laughs> so, uh, some of you uh, who have been watching Kachi Time for quite a while, you're probably familiar with Tezzy, uh, Tezzy Vu, and Tezzy Lando. They occasionally play games with us, and they're on the server. I don't think uh, a underscore random guy has been with us on Kachi Time yet. I don't think so. He might have been. Yeah, I don't know. And although noob recruit is not uh uh is not uh admin or developer for dummy defense, he is he is uh he's like his uh, our uh, what's that what's that called um a uh, comic relief character. Oh, comic relief character. All right. Yeah, like uh. Bobo from Tower Blitz or Evade if you if you don't play Tower Blitz. Mm -hmm. Uh he's kinda like that. In uh Tower Blitz he just makes a bunch of cameos into the maps. And then uh, he also for April Fools, uh Bobo Blitz where that's just the entire game. All right. the towers were Bobo and then they had the and and like Bobo just like appears and he, he has godlike in Tower Blitz, so And so that's that's what Noob Recruit does does for you guys. He's your mascot, sort yeah. of. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tower Tower Blitz is uh evades Bobo is different. He's just like mm -hmm. uh, he just appears. He just he's, he doesn't even do anything for the for the actual game. Unlike Tower Blitz, where Bobo uh, just like appears and gives you a tip and then leaves. And then for April Fools, he appears as well. <laughs> This yeah, that's all. This is going to be so cool when you guys get this game online. Yeah. You're not too far away from launching it, though, right? I would say, like, around the end of this year. Yeah. So what was the latest uh, development you made in it? Like, uh, so, so Kachi has ID tech classes, and um, uh, he has instructors that help him learn how to program in Lua for um, for Roblox. So uh, what was the last thing that you were working on? Oh, we're playing with animations. Okay, yeah. Like idle animation. Like like the player's idle animation, running animation. I'm still changing the walking animation, so that's not added yet. Right. But it's very glitchy, so uh, if, I, if I load up the lobby, uh, it is going to be very... It's going to be... Uh, you guys are going to probably get like triggered from seeing how horrible <laughs> the uh, the animation is because like it's so buggy it's so glitchy that like when i'm in my I when you're in the idle animation if you press shift it restarts the animation so if you rapidly press shift you just go to the beginning of the idle animation uh-huh yeah and also when you're running as well you and you just like and then if you let go and you're still walking you still play the uh uh, running animation, but you're not running. Dope. So it's very buggy. 
All right, but that you can clean those bugs up though, right? After you get it down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, oftentimes programming is like that, where you rough it out just to get the thing functioning, and then you go back and you clean it up and you get it like working very efficiently. So those of you who do coding. Yeah, like you're exhibiting a, a um, an idle animation right there, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so you can see his little shoulders are going up and down, <laughs> like he's breathing and stuff while he's sitting there. Yeah. Now walking is just moving his legs forward and backwards. And yeah, and pretty much. Arms. Yeah. And there's no sprinting in this game, so. I right. mean, I can technically sprint like a... Uh, we're not not here. I can technically sprint like this. But that okay. Really count. Yeah, I suppose not. Now these are the animations that are built into uh, uh, Obby Creator. Yeah. No, this is, look, yeah, but this is like the Obby Creator just has the default Roblox animation. Yeah, the standard default Roblox animation. So Kachi is working on animations specifically for uh, his dummy defense game, which are different than these. So, And again, you know, we would go there, but they're really, really buggy right now. So, Yeah, I really like this Mount Kimmy gun for some reason. That does look very, very cool. Now, would that be a... Uh, mounted minigun, so that's fixed in one spot. It's not like a hover kind of thing. Oh right? yeah, you can't you can't move it. Right. Well, I mean, like he he like rotates it, but like it doesn't. It's not like right. on the stand. Right. You like Tower Blitz Vulcan does that. Like he has a oh, gigantic sorry. stand, and then it just mm -hmm. rotates for no reason. Right. So those so, are towers yeah. you would place at specific points, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised on how I was able to, like, manage to make these models look that good. <laughs> they I'm do not, look they... really good, son. Yeah, because usually I'm not good at making gun models. Uh -huh. So, you know, yeah, I don't, Some most of the time I just don't even try, but if I have to, I will try. <laughs> Plus, you learn quite a bit but... from Tezzy, too, right? Oh yeah, like the only reason why I'm able to make most of this stuff, like almost all my models I know how to make is because of Tezzy. He taught me almost everything about how to play uh, Obby Creator and make stuff, so. Yeah, so, like I praise him for the god of model making. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, th that's just like me with Buffooncraft. Uh, Buffooncraft right now, Supernova Relic is streaming and uh, we're doing the world tour, even though we still have six days left of building. And uh, I, I look back and I see how much I've learned from those guys. Yeah. Really. So it, it's cool to have friends who are like that where, sure, you're playing a game together, but, you know, you, you learn from them. You all learn from each other. And it makes everybody better. Uh, by the way, uh, Tez, when Tezzy first saw this, he's like, wait, didn't I already make this? I'm like, what do you mean? I've, ne <laughs> I've never seen you make something like this before. And then he showed me the model. And it was, and it, we made it the exact same way. It was, <laughs> it was based off of Tower Blitz's Vulcan. We took the mini guns, a barrel, we attached it on, and we had the same exact handle. So, it, and the base itself looked almost identical. So it's like, we, I made his, but I didn't mean to make his. <laughs> right, right. You just both have developed similar styles now, so. Even when you build things independently, they come out very, very much the same, right? I can maybe find it. No, I don't think it. I think it's all, all gone now. <laughs> Is it this? Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, this is a little, this is a while ago. Oh, yeah, but this tower is gonna be added as well. Uh, which one? This one, the shotgunner. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I forgot his actual name. Yeah. Uh, get zoom a little closer so we can see a little better. That that's good right there. Nice. Yeah, Tezzy made this. I had nothing to do with this. Yeah. Yeah. I I mostly just like confirmed it for him, and this and then 
this path he splits into two different do different paths oh okay yeah that's what that signifies okay got it i also made this over here the remake version of champion yeah i remember that man that looks cool yeah the old version i just like that was like a long time ago before i really was experienced in making models uh-huh so i just remade it because I, I i wanted to also that over there oh, yeah uh and score and guy made this mini gun nice not so many mini gun now it's many here it's smaller <laughs> now also here's the ohio gun that i made man i'm so proud of the work you guys have done on this you guys have worked really really hard on this and plus you sustained working on this you persevered working on this singularly for like how long how long have you guys been working on this uh since like november last year so like yeah yeah so six about month. yeah about a half a year right yeah yeah but honestly what i did here was i just took a bunch uh, all of our gun models and put them together to make the ohio ultimate gun uh-huh yeah he's also uh this tezzy's uh flame tank oh yeah yeah <laughs> and uh oh wait i remember this yeah this is a factory oh this is one of my favorite builds i don't recall seeing this so yeah, this is the factory where uh, it kind of gave almost like all the lore. Okay. <laughs> like uh, the towers, how the towers are made is that uh, is that they they had there's a machine where they would put the model in and all the scripts into the machine and create the model and it would come to life. Yeah, for those of you who may not be familiar with um, Tower Blitz, there's actually a lore that goes along with that. Oh yeah, there's like descriptions and everything for it. So right, right. So so Kachi and his friends are doing. A, oh, right, digging the Scottish flag there, son. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Kachi and his friends are developing the lore for uh, Demi Defense. Yeah, this is Office One. <laughs> this is a Office. And yeah, this is when uh, we still were basing our game off of uh, Dummies vs. Noobs, so they still had the old mech model, the old. Uh, saboteur model here uh -huh. and also the sappers but that's gonna be all gone same for daedalus over here but uh i am money still gonna be in the game so if you don't know what i am money is uh in a and there's going to be a farm skin where uh there's gonna be this guy who constantly goes to donate uh -huh. and then at one point he is the money he becomes the money <laughs> all right so then he pays himself so i kind of remade this in here Oh my god, my headphones just, uh, wait, hold up, my headphones are... Your headphones okay? Can you still hear? Uh oh, I think Kachi's headphones just died. <laughs> Son, can you hear us? Headphones just made one note and then only played that note, so like I couldn't hear anything. Really? That's, that's kind of weird. Eh, that happens every now and then. All right. Are they charged up? Are they fully charged? Yeah. It's just, it just sometimes it just glitches out like that. All right. Oh yeah, here's Tessie's office. Bing Tining's office. Yep. <laughs> Translate that to English from Chinese. Uh, ice cream. Bing chiling. Look, we're the same guy, not fake. <laughs> Here's Luger. Here's Boy, you know, for here. Roblox, you know, for such a simple figure, 
uh, the costumes are starting to get more detailed. Oh yeah, they already are, and I yeah. I, I want the I, I I don't like it, so that's why I have the R six. Oh, all that's right. All, that's why our game is R six. All right. Uh, describe R six to people. R six is literally just block. It's just blocky. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like right now is R6. This is R6. All right. R15 is where they have the the knees, the uh, feet, the uh, hands, the wrists. Okay. So it has all the movable joints. And R throw is just human. Right. Hey, yeah, uh, I, I, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I just I just want to stay at the blocky. I don't want, I don't want to go back. I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's got that nostalgic look for you, right? Well, no, it's just like I don't like the f I I don't like the R throw and it like looks so human. I realistic like I don't like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like the realism. I I think the the more cartoony the better to me. Right. The right. More non-realistic. That's why my comics look like that. <laughs> right. Style. Hey, uh, go over to that tabletop. That thing looks kind of cool. Yeah, I made the tabletop and then uh I found the image and then. Uh, and just go around and guy put the mini guns on it. Right, can you zoom up on it a little, little bit? There we go. We can see some of the details. Yeah, so that looks cool. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, here's uh, and just go around guy's like desk, his table. This like this is like his uh, what is that? Why can't I think of the? It's like his garage. Or his, uh... Workshop, garage, yeah. Workshop, yeah, yeah, workshop, workshop. This is, like, his workshop. He doesn't have an office. <laughs> and also, he, I, made, I made this, uh... Like, toolkit for him. Uh-huh. Like, toolbox. And also, here's, uh... N knob delivery. All right, here's a uh, uh, banana, 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 banana supply. Banana? 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 No, banana supply because I because I remember we were making a banana juice store for a skin for the mark for the gun seller. Uh huh. And uh, and I accidentally spelled banana banana <laughs> with two ends, and we just kind of like went like that's okay. We we're gonna yeah, keep it. Like go that. with it. Yeah, and then I put him in my in my obby. He's supplier, so that he like, in the actual skin itself, I don't think uh, it, I don't have it in here because mm -hmm. it's Tessie's thing, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's to signify he got upgraded. Oh, yeah, here's a little of this over here that I made a while ago. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the 2.0 version. Okay. The second part to this. All right, son, uh, we can hang on this as long as you would like. I'm just letting you know it's about 4.30. It's a little bit past. Okay. So we're at yeah, the 30-minute 30, uh... 30 mark in case you wanted to plan some stuff to do. Nah, it's okay. No, that's all right. We can continue doing this. I'm just letting you know what the timestamp is. Yeah, this is the 2.0 version of my office. And it, the factory is the exact same, so... But it's much more empty since uh, we haven't done anything in this. Yeah, but this is the 2.0 version of my my uh, office. The desk got moved. Same for the bed. It's bigger as well. Now we got to get your yeah. workplace out there uh, in the living room looking as good as that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job when you go to Taiwan. Oh yeah, by the way, if you if you've seen the the commands post and, and yes, I did just take commands post and jam it into my office. <laughs> All right. That definitely that that's actually what I did. I just took it and got rid of the garage door yep. and uh put it in. Yeah, I I can show you the model. Uh Yeah, see. So oh yeah. Okay. Did. So 
pretty much just did that. And change the colors a bit as well. Yep. Yeah. By the way, I uh, just want to remind the viewers, uh, if the scale looks a little weird, like uh, some, of, some of the buildings and stuff look like they're very small, um, it's just that the towers, when you're playing Tower Blitz, are on a different scale than the players are. Oh the yeah, like most TD games, the like the the enemy or the enemies and towers. Uh, mostly the towers are m much smaller than the actual player. Like right. The sides right. Of their right. So if you were looking at that building and thinking, "Wow, that looks very small," uh, compared to Kachi, well, remember it's not for Kachi-sized figures. Uh, the towers yeah, like, are actually quite a bit smaller. The like the map is would be much much bigger if it was the size of a tower. I mean, if it was the size of a player, I meant. Yeah, that's why the hills are so small. Like, I'm the size of a hill. So. And, like, this tree would uh, be, like, the size of a skyscraper compared to a tower, I realize. Yeah, would you say the towers are what? About maybe half the size? I would say they're, like, the size of my leg. Yeah, that's about half. That's about half. Yes, it is. Okay. This is the um, frozen sea side of Arpeggio. So there's a whole Arpeggio series that we have where it's... Uh, okay, that's uh, Archipelago. Oh, yeah, Archipelago. There's, there it uh, is, yeah. There's the... I forgot the first one was called. The second one's called The Last Stand of Arpeggio, and this one's the frozen, frozen sea side of Arpeggio. You guys oh yeah, there it is at the top. It. Frozen seaside of archipelago. You guys won't believe how hard it was to make this metro pop model from Tower Blitz. Yeah, yeah. Zoom up and and uh, circle around it so we can see. Like, I, th I like the no chest armor decoration. That looks cool. Since there's no unions in uh in uh obby crater it's really 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 hard to make the the helmet go down like that now so, unions uh, are when you combine two simple objects right to make a more complicated object yeah like uh if you had like a square and then you put another square into it and then made it a union and one was a negative it would get like rid of half of the square right right some of you have yeah, done since, 3D solid modeling will know what we're talking about there. Yeah, but since there's no unions, I have to make 20, like, 20 parts for this one headpiece right here. So, I didn't like that. I also made this tank. Well, I didn't make the tank, but I made it destroyed. That's what I did. <laughs> I really like making des des something that is completely destroyed if it is, uh not living yeah those those are cool things to put into scenes right into battle scenes yeah. and stuff oh yeah i also designed the this guy and then tezzy made the assault rifle which is going to be added in for the assault tower itself. yeah nice job nice job and backpack and yes the material that was made f with this backpack was sand Hey, remind me at the end of the stream, uh, do you think we should show off uh, what Mama made? Yeah. Yeah, we should show that. Well, we can do that now. Yeah, okay. Um, let me switch on over to the camp scene if you want. If you want to, you can bring that into the office. Okay. Into the studio. So, Mrs. Thunderhand has been going very, very nuts with the crocheting, which is wonderful to see. I always like to see when she becomes interested in something like that. And so she's been doing a lot of crafting with crochet lately. And she's been making a lot of things for Kachi. <laughs> it's really cool. So uh, let's see. What do we got here? So I'll put this right here. So uh, let me hold it. Yeah, like maybe, maybe right here. Right. And let me get this right about here. 
So uh, she's gone and made uh, a little Roblox <laughs> character for Kachi's dummy defense and stuff. So. Right, I'd have to switch over to my screen, but uh, yeah, she did a super, super cool job. Uh, right, right, he's the starter tower for tower defense, uh, uh, dummy defense, yeah. Yeah, so when you load in, you have this tower. And so she recreated this in, in Groshe. It's so awesome. I think she, I think she went and did an incredible job on this. This took her a long time to make, actually. Yeah, a lot of it was waiting for materials and stuff, yeah. Yeah, so you can see uh, he's got the gloves, he's got the flak vest, he's got the, the helmet and stuff. Really cool. Uh, I guess this green yarn, this ki this color green yarn was, was difficult to find. So we had to wait wait for a while to get that. But, uh, well, out of stock, yeah, it was hard to obtain. We had to do some waiting for it, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll keep that right down here. All right. I am back. There you are. Okay. Yeah, if you see my screen share just go off, it's just temporary. I'll load it back up. All right. All right, so Kachi's switching over now, loading up the Roblox Studio. There we go, a little bit like that. Yes, we're waiting for it to load because it takes a while because there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, all right. So Kachi wants yes, to see. show you the model that he created that inspired this. So this is what Mrs. Thunderham was going for here. It's pretty cool. I think she did an awesome job on that. Yeah. He said, now Here's the plushie here. version as well. Right. I remember you loading this up for her so she can use that as the design yeah. model. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> and you might think this is a like a quarter cylinder, but that is a full cylinder. You just can't see it. Right, right. Cool. Here's the gigantic carbine. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't shrink it down before putting it in, but I'm leaving it like that. Here's also Annihilator's uh, grenade launcher. And you guys already saw the uh, machine gun here, so. Uh Here's the technician over here as well. Here's level one. I don't know why, but like our towers always have a trope of getting gloves and then and then also having a backpack. Gloves and backpack. Yep, most common most common thing you'll see. You'll see them with gloves. The same. They'll always have gloves. So and they'll probably always have a backpack. They'll have either one at the start. And the only one that breaks it is uh, Demo Man. He's the only one who does not have gloves or a backpack at level zero. At level zero, yeah. Hey, here's also his mo uh, boss design. Yeah, yeah, I remember that from last time. Super cool looking. I, I like the chest emblem on that one. Here's the new player sprint animation. Okay, loading the animation. Yeah, that, that looks cool. Yeah, so I changed it up a bit. Yeah, you did. I noticed. It's a much better looking sun. Commander. Because he's funny. Why the, I don't know why there's two commanders. Uh, weird. I guess I didn't save it, but... Over here is also, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this, the purpose of this was for the icon of the game. 
Okay, zoom up a little bit, please. So we can get some details. There we go. And the purpose of this was what? Sorry. For like the icon of the game. Oh, okay. All right. It was supposed to, it like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it was like this. And there was the map right over there behind it. Oh, do you mean the thumbnail? Yeah, the thumbnail. Yeah, okay, got it. All right, so you're setting and up a thumbnail stream. Got it, scene. And then here's what yeah. the map would look like without the towers. Right, and let's pull back and let's take a look at the pathing. Can you describe the pathing? Where the mobs, the where the towers come in and out? Oh, the mo uh, the enemies come enemies, from here. Yeah. Right. Uh, where my mouse is. And if you can't see my mouse, there's a square. No, we got it, yeah. And then the gigantic mountain is uh, an, 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 an and then towers will be placed anywhere on the grass, pretty much. Right. Yeah, that's going to be a, a easy map for players, right? Yeah, because... Uh, Got a lot of prime locations here. for towers, yeah. Yeah, here, spawn kill here, here, a uh, good corner spot. Here is also really good. This is also, this area, this entire area right here is really good. Yeah. Especially this, because... Enemies go through here, they escape, come back, they're already dead. Yeah, because you can cover uh, over 50% of the path in just that one location. And if you have, like, in the sense this map is, like, really small, you can, if you had a really high range tower, it would just, it would probably get rid of every single enemy. Now, here's a question. What's the biggest um, uh, tower blitz map you've ever seen? I mean, how big do they get? I don't know how I can describe it. Because uh, there must be a max size, right? Because otherwise... Oh, there definitely... There, no, there probably is, but... I wonder what the limit is on that, because uh, you wouldn't want it to be too big, because then you get uh, uh, too many enemies on the map all at the same time. And I don't think that you could place towers fast enough to cover them. Well, they fit thing as, like... Uh, time and uh, if you kill the enemies they're all gone and then the next wave starts and there's also right. skipping right yeah but you don't want maps to be too short or too long it needs to be like medium yeah and i'm wondering what that optimum size is huh like sky highlands sky island this this map this role was kind of based off of sky island uh -huh. there's one long entrance takes Takes a right, so it's kind of like it goes like uh, here I can describe it by placing models. So like the entrance would be like this, mm -hmm. and uh, takes a right, and then, oh, and then what? Oh, I remember. Uh. This is just off of, like, memory, so it's really hard right, to right. remember. Like, even, well, I've done this map a lot, so I can guess I can kind of remember it. All right. Now, would you say that your map um, next to that is maybe an average size map? Like, most of the maps are about that size? It's like the, it's like kind of like the size of Grassy Islands, which is kind of small. It's okay. like, it's like decently average. Yeah, so that's a... S that's a smallish kind of map, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, something like this. Here it goes around like that. And this way. Uh, This is much longer, by the way. This is like this this long. Um. All right, so Kachi's building from memory here uh, what we would consider to be like an average size tower blitz yeah, this map. Is, uh, yeah, this is Sky Island. It's like the best map in the entire game, right. I would say. Man, Kashi, you're getting uh, so good at manipulating these objects. Uh, 
I know you're probably frustrated with yourself, but actually it's it's pretty cool the way you're placing these, how, how fast you're putting this together. Um, well, it's also really janky, though, so. Yeah, I know. You're just cranking together a, a little simulation so you can show us. There. <laughs> kind of like this. All right, so There's that's. There's a long road, goes to the right. Goes up, goes to the right, goes down, goes to the right, goes up, goes to the left, goes up, goes to the left, goes up, goes to the right. Okay, yeah. And so that would be like an average size map, right? Yeah. Yeah, and of course that middle real estate, that's the prime real estate right there, right? Uh, Yeah, like this area and uh, sometimes over here as well. Yeah, because you can cover like... nearly the whole, the whole track from there, yeah. yeah? Yeah, but anyways, that's kind of like what it was like. Why well, I, I like it was like really hard to remember though. Cool, very cool. Oh, here they are. Scout one and scout two. Oh yeah, okay, that's what you were looking for earlier, right? Yeah. So we could do the uh, comparison. Scout one. Oh uh, yeah. By the way, uh, if you're if you know what my normal avatar looks like, you're probably uh -huh. just like, did you just take the your your avatar and kind of just like deleted some parts and then and then and then uh, and then like use that for the for the units? And I'm like, and you are right because I did just take my character model, get rid of some accessories, and then I got I got scout one and two. Yep. And uh. Oh, you go. I'm just gonna do something real quick. Changing my avatar to my normal one. Okay, so this is kind of look like this is kind of look what my avatar looks like. Right, right. So for uh, Scout One, what I did was I took away the gloves. I yep. took away the the extra pair of headsets that I for some reason have, and uh, my my goggles. That's the only thing I changed for Scout One. Right, but you changed. Scout two, it looks like you changed the hat though too. Like it doesn't. I know. Just this was this was just the model we made. This is the actual accessories that we we based it off of. Right. Okay. Excuse me. Scout two, um, is almost is just take goggles away. Yeah, it took took away more stuff. There's a the there's no like extra stuff on his chest plate. Uh, -huh. uh There's no backpack. Proof. Then uh, he doesn't have the extra headset nor the goggles, so he has more stuff taken away. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. This was the old design with the accessories. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you and can see the belt has a lot more gear on it. Yeah. Yeah, and these these uh these they will have these guns still so. And these guys will be paired with the command post. Which originally first spawned a mech, but we didn't really know a mech design to choose mm -hmm. that wasn't the same as Dungeons and Noobs. Even though they changed it, I feel like we would still get in trouble if we used it. So, uh, yeah, we just didn't use a mech design. All right. All right. So we're just going to use a tank at first instead. Yeah, so we're going to mm -hmm. have to change... Him as well, your average noob. Yep. Yeah, it's because he's he just has all the accessories on, so we're gonna change that as well. Um. Also, his his gun will change. All right. Uh, can you zoom up on that gun gun a little bit? Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, this okay. From, Looks like a shotgun. This from, I mean, yeah, this was from Dummy versus yeah. Noob, so we have to take it away. Oh, okay, yep. Also, we had to take uh, this this flamethrower and Glock 
well, no, M1911 and the wrench and his, all of the accessories, same for the tank, uh, way. So we have to replace it with our models, but I already have all of them except for the wrench. M1911, that's my favorite. M1911? No, the, the, oh, hand, the, the, the handgun. handgun, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the engineer in Dummies vs. Noobs had the M1911. Yep. Your great-grandfather used one of those in the war. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because he was in construction battalion, so that was their sidearm. Oh, yeah, I figured out... Well, I didn't figure this out. I just decided to do it since I was lazy before, and I already knew how to do it, but I just... Mm -hmm. uh, for the, for for some reason for Gunner I just took his uh his boots and I and instead of just making it a complete square I put round edges on it to make it look more professional I guess yeah yeah that looks cool yeah it doesn't have the sharp the sharp corners but I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm never gonna do that with the boots like any anything like like that like that right yeah. there that's just a straight part I'm not changing that I'm never gonna change that probably. Okay. I just don't feel like doing that. That's going to be a lot of work. Super <laughs> I don't tedious. Wanna... Yeah, super tedious. You know, that's why, like, all of, like, this, like, assault just has the squares for his knee pads and not mm -hmm. these, these, uh, hexagons. I mean, not, well, hexagons. Uh, kind of hex. No, no, those those have six sides. Well, technically, where the straps connect, those would be two sides too. So that'd make them octagons because they have eight sides. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna continue working on that that boss for the end of the stream. All right. Because it is the end of stream. End of stream. Okay. Yeah. Because we've been going for an hour. Usually we go for ninety minutes, but it's okay. We can do a shorter stream today. No, uh, I actually want to. Although it's probably going to be very boring since it's just me looking at a bunch of images and then putting them in. Uh, I still want to uh, show you the process of making a, a, oh, okay. an enemy. All right. Yeah, we can certainly do that. Sure. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Let's take like a five minute break to a be right back. All right. Okay. So I can get a few things.
Okay, and we're back. Let me unmute Kati. There he is. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Let's go back to your screen. There you are. All right, so you wanted to take us through uh, some of the process of your design, right? Yeah. All right. So what are you going to be working on? What are you going to show us? Uh, I'm debating a pre-model. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, so what are you designing here? Uh, I just need a, a part from the boots since I don't want to remake the boots because the boots uh, you see have the round edges and I'm never going to do that and I'll be creator again. <laughs> All right. So, uh, no reason, so. right. So you want to make a pair of boots, but you don't want to recreate those ones. Is that what it is? Yeah. I just going to, I just straight up saved it. Okay. So yeah. So you did, the, you went through the uh, trouble of, making that once and then you saved it right so now you can just reuse it over and over yeah nice nice work that's how you work efficiently All right, so you can see Kachi's putting together his different shapes there, intersecting them to make like a more complex object out of like several smaller objects. That's pretty much what 3D modeling is in general. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's what we call solid modeling. Yeah, and then there's mesh modeling. That's a little bit harder to do, but yeah, I've never done that before, and I don't want to. <laughs> it's actually it's it's really cool to do, but it's a, it's a different beastie. I'm surprised, though, in your Blender tutorials, though, in your Blender classes, you haven't done any mesh modeling. All right, there you go. Anyway, yep. that face is either going to stay there or get deleted, so this face might stay here forever or might get deleted forever. It just depends on what I feel like is going to happen to it. Right, right. Okay. So don't get too attached to it or don't get too mad if it's there. Yeah. <laughs> Subject to change. And if you see me briefly not doing anything, that's highly likely either me thinking or, <laughs> or, uh, or looking at an image, probably. Right. Yeah, uh, Katya, uh, you know, we probably shouldn't uh, show the images off, just in case there's some dox doxing stuff there or some um, copyright stuff. But um, yeah, uh, Katya, you probably have another browser open, right? With a bunch of images in it that you're... Oh, yeah. Yeah, referencing and stuff, yeah. You know, it's got to be challenging to do it uh, for creating things and making them look like what they're supposed to look like. For example, you know, for legs, all you have are those two rectangular prisms. And so to make a pair of boots that look actually like boots, it's pretty cool, son. Yeah, yeah it, you guys do a good job with that because... I mean, location-wise, uh, it tells your brain that those must be boots uh, just by where they're placed. But still, you know, to yeah. make the features of them, you've got to choose the proportions to make them right. Like, people probably wouldn't think that, like, little ridgy, little ridges for the toes of the boots, you know, would be, like, proportional enough compared to the rest of the boot. But if you made yeah. the toes proportional they would look out of scale. You would have these huge things protruding from the... Yeah. You know what I mean? And it would look weird, right? And so you got to really think about things like that, you know, instead of making things look like um, 
with the proper proportions they would have in, in real life. Sometimes you've got to do things out of proportion in such a way that it just suggests what it is, and then your brain just registers, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's one of the challenges of building in Minecraft, too. I know I keep bringing up Minecraft, but, you know, you can't often build things in real life, in fact, uh, like they are in real life. In fact, the harder you try, the worse it, it looks. <laughs> you know, it's got to be an idealistic representation of that thing, not an accurate one. So uh, that's that's a good art talent to have and to develop. And if you're wondering why there's just a random dummy model here, it's because he is a dummy model. I need him for, like, almost everything. Just in case. He's, like, your I reference model? Well, he's, like, my base model. Kind yeah. Of. All right. Like, everything comes from this. Like, well, every tower, every, like, human, humanoid. Anything. Yeah, like, yeah. He's got all your all your basic gear and stuff, right? He's got the chest plate and stuff. He's got yeah. one and of he, the gloves. He does have an... Yeah, he... Well, he, he does... He has another glove. It's just I took it and put it onto him for some reason. Right, right. And I didn't duplicate it uh, like I probably should have. All right, so you put on the straps for the knees. You get the boots, right? Oh, so that's how you make the knee pads. Well, yeah, I kind of just took it from different model, but uh, uh -huh. because it's so so tedious to make knee pads. Right. I I hate making knee pads so much. My worst enemy is knee pads. Yeah. So you just make them once and then copy them. Yeah. Nice. And yes, you can do this, by the way, but it just risks, like, getting rid of all the stuff you literally just did. So that's why I don't do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Taking things directly off your reference model, you mean? Yeah. Like, like, uh, you saw me just doing, uh, like that. And the reason why I just didn't go, like, it's because like I have, I feel like I'm accidentally gonna delete. Oh yeah, yeah. Something else that I didn't want to delete, so that's yeah, why you, I. Yeah, you were temporarily removing the arm so you could access the stuff behind it, right? Well, no, not to like not to delete the stuff you don't want to delete by accident. Right. So Kachi has quite a bit of time to work on this now that his school is finally finished. <laughs> when did school finish for you? That was last week, right? That was last last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was that. actually the week before, right? Technically, it was that yeah. Thursday, right? Yeah, that, that Thursday. Yep. So Kachi's been out for quite a while. Biggie is finishing up. He did his last day of classes um, uh, the day before yesterday, Friday. And uh, this week coming up, uh, tomorrow, is just most of their ceremonial and celebratory stuff. So, um, and then he'll be done this week. And off to college. Well, yeah, I mean, we got a couple of weeks together as a family, and then we're going to Taiwan. And you guys are going to be there for most of the summer, actually. Yeah. I'll be there for about two weeks, and then I'm coming back, and then... Um, you guys will be coming back in August, and you'll be starting in your new school. And uh, then Biggie will still have a few weeks. Uh, he doesn't uh, go off to college until uh, towards the end of September after Labor Day. And so he'll be traveling up north to go to college. So uh, it's really, really cool, really exciting. But, boy, we are going to be one busy little family. Yeah. 
Yeah. Things have been actually pretty oh, chill over this last year, so. Well, yeah, because COVID and stuff. Comparatively, so. yeah. So we've gotten out of having to do a lot of driving just because of that. But now now we're back in live situations. we got a lot of driving to do. That was unnecessarily hard to, make, to try to do that. <laughs> But you got them, though. Here, uh, slowly zoom up on them nice and close so we can see what you placed there. Okay, so you've got those leg features. Yeah, to connect it. Like, it's like a... Right, connecting the straps for the knee pads to the tops of the boots. It's like Aero Rig from Dummy Drift and Noobs, which was based off of the Aero Rig from uh, Attack on Titan. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. For the o OEM gear, I think. Or th is it, uh, w what do they call that? What was the acronym for that? The initials for that. Oh, okay, yeah, it's ODM gear for Attack on okay. Titan. Omni directional mobility gear. That that's makes sense. Yeah, because that's what you they can, called it. You can. It's kind of like just like a zip line, except it's on your arms. Yeah, and with the compressed steam uh, air oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and also you have blades as well. Yeah. Now they did come out with. Uh, let me see. Uh, another season four episode. Uh, I think it was last month, and so we're waiting for waiting on the next one. So. But I don't watch that because I, I don't want to see people get eaten by other gigantic people. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it is it is pretty gruesome, you know, if, if you're younger. I remember um, uh, back when Biggie was 14 and uh, he was watching me uh, view that. And he's like, wow, what you what you watching by? And I'm like, oh, this is pretty gruesome, son. I don't know if you want to check this out. He says, oh, let me watch it. He watched it for like about five minutes. And he's like, yeah, you know, I think I'll pass on that part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's good with it now. He's he's eighteen now, but but even back then, he was, he was a little bit squeamish. It is pretty brutal to watch. Plus, it, it's it's yeah. it's also really hard to understand if you just watch only a few episodes. You really got to follow the story all the way through because it's a it's a very bizarre and convoluted story. So, it's cool though. It's super cool. All right. So, what are you working on now? Are you working on headgear? Uh, chest plate. Chest plate, there it is, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one time I was trying to make the arrow rig into uh, Obby Crater, which was a while ago, while Tezzy was making uh, the... Oh, the the railgun tank. Let me see if that's still hot. Right, if that's in here. Right. What even is this? Oh, this was the doors. I remember this. This looks familiar. Yeah. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yeah, you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have seen this. All right, so what are you looking for in here? Uh, I wasn't in this. I just chose a random one. Oh, all right. And it must be much, much later than twenty than twenty two. <laughs> Let me try thirty one. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this looks familiar too. I think I've seen this. I really like this scene that I made. Yeah, okay, this is coming back to me. I think I've seen this before. And we asked Teddy to join and just tell him to bold it up. <laughs> if he right. doesn't join, then I'm just, uh, you guys would just probably never know. Yeah, if he's around. It's only uh, 517, so you have, you still have about 13 minutes left. Hmm. 
see where we're at here. Okay, I I texted him. But yeah, that we took around the same amount of time to to build build that. And the rogue gun tank is very complicated, and uh, that and that just shows like how complex the arrow rig was in dummies versus noobs. It's like so complex. I and like the back part is the hardest part of it, which I never want to do again. I never want to <laughs> work with arrow rig ever again. All right, so uh, describe arrow rig a little bit. The arrow rig is is literally just a jetpack upgrade. It is the same exact thing that you described. It it is like a grapple hook where you can just grapple to anything, and then you have a knife and you can stab people with it. Oh, okay. Them as well. Arrow rig. Yeah. Okay, so that's A E R O. Got it. Yeah. Cool. All right, you want to? Yeah, I don't know what the. You wanted Tezzy to show that. Yeah, he's. I don't think he's gonna join. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We can always show it later too. All right, in the um, self promo section of of my uh, Discord, I'll put the links and stuff for your Discord, and then I'll also add them to the stream so there'll be a stream command. We can just type them in, and it'll bring it up. And that's probably where, if you we don't get around to showing you guys this stuff on stream, you can always go into Akachi's Discord oh, and joined. check them out there. Oh, okay, there he is. Tessie Vu! Where are you? <laughs> Do you even like this one? All right, there's Tessie. We might get some wrong ones because he has a lot of obbies and he mostly names right. his obbies uh like um random letters most of the time. So Yeah, yeah, yeah nondescript see, names. See. Yeah, see. Reaper, Reaper Tower that I made. I really like this tower. Wow. Yeah, Tezzy is quite That's the builder, huh? No, this uh, this one was mine and then in the background is this one's Tezzy. Oh, okay, cool. Nice work, son. Nice work. Tezzy also made this thing over here. Yeah, those those look like his effects. I am stuck in the ratty. <laughs> no! Oh, here is the old loading screen for dummy defense. <laughs> Here's the credits. Nice. So cool. I tell you something, when you get this thing together and up and running, uh, when you're older, you're going to look back on this. You're going to have the best memories for this. The basics. Click on a tower icon and then <laughs> the tower will appear. When the floor is blue, you can place the tower. Well, you can place. When the floor is red, you can't place. Then when you have it selected and then, and there is a blue... Is it, Oops. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, over here, uh, I guess we're switching showcases. This Wait, was so uh, this was a, a skin for your Irish DJ. So Tez made the guitar model. Yeah, I nice. made the actual model. Looks pretty cool. And here's the bass player as well with the guitar player. Okay, all right. And there's only four strings. Yeah, but he's got six tuning pegs, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, here's all the enemies for the first mode. Except for the boss, which I already showed you earlier, right. the red guy right. with the with this exact emblem on his chest. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. No, it is. It is the exact same thing. Yeah, by the way, if you play Tower Blitz and you said, that's Reactor, because it is Reactor. It is the exact same thing as Reactor. I don't know what Tezzy was thinking when he was making this. <laughs> Might have to make he some just... changes to that. Yeah. Oh, here's the Ultraman Tower. Oh, wait, this was the turret tower I was thinking of. 
the one I showed you, the mountain minigun, Tessie no, was oh, like, this? Yeah. I already made this. Yes, yeah. these are the same thing. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Hey, go back yeah, to the Ultraman Tower. Are you guys actually going to try to use that? You think you can get away with it? No, probably not. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it. Anyways. Yeah, Super Eye is going to call you Ultraman. out. Ultraman. Yeah. Yeah, this is the old Ultraman model I had. This is not the new. And this is also the old S capsule. Yeah, Kachi and I are big Ultraman fans, as you guys have probably oh. as you guys probably know. This is uh ambush over here. So gonna... he has like this ability where an, if an enemy stuns a tower, he stuns the enemy back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna work Ultraman into Minecraft somehow, either on Generations or Buffooncraft. We have the tower that me and Tessie made. I made I made the guy on the right and Tessie made the guy on the left. Can you tell the differences between my my like my type my style of making towers and his style of making towers? Yeah, pretty much. I can I can see where you're where you learn things from him though. Yeah. Yeah. But Tessie likes to like make his stuff more saturated than, than mine. I make my stuff like like the least saturated I can. <laughs> yeah, you know, you and I are actually like that. You know, we don't build quite as colorfully as everybody else does. In fact, that's one of my goals in Minecraft is to, you know, use a lot more color than I do. Because, wow, we got buffoons on the server like, you know, Nova and uh, Nebula. They, they're really colorful builders. Yeah, like, I think this is too saturated. <laughs> I, this is too saturated. I need. I this needs to be less saturated. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of agree with you. Be curious to see what the what the other viewers think about that. But ah, uh, both. I don't. I can don't. I stop getting. I keep on getting stuck inside, stuck inside the ratty. I remember this. This is this was just all tower blitz. This is all from tower blitz. So oh, okay. enemy, these yeah. two enemies are from tower blitz. This is the old conscript, and uh, okay, we're loading something else. Oh, okay. These are all the insane mode enemies over here. Yeah, so this is Tezzy's map over here. And then the map restarts to show all the enemies in it. Oh, okay. Wow, a long and narrow map. I haven't seen one like that in a while. Oh yeah, here's Tezzy's boss that is going to be added into the game and already has an OSD done. Oh, nice. Yeah, the OSD is called Galaxy's Calamity. <laughs> Let's sneak into the back area. All these enemies in the back were bait or er, were Three, three alpha enemies. <laughs> oh, okay. For um, a long time ago. Oh, this is a really old one of Tezzy's. I wasn't, I didn't even do anything with this. This was before I started playing Obby Crater. Yeah, so that means like we haven't showed this on Kachi time before then. Yeah, but this is really old. Like, the goggles don't look as good. Same for the straps. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so some of the stuff looks kind of janky since it was old, but it still looks good for its time. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like looking at your past Minecraft this build, right? Okay, this is uh for what yeah, you guys were looking. Yeah, here's the railgun tank. Nice. Yeah, Tezzy, this was from Dummy First and Noobs, and he added it. And this is not what it exactly looks like uh -huh. because uh, no unions. Right. As always. Yeah, but that looks cool. I mean, like the treads and everything look really nice on that. Here's the arrow rig. There is. Wow. Here, here pull up on that and go revolve around it slowly. I'll, yeah, a little bit closer so we can see the details. Yeah, I made this. 
This was from Dummies vs. Noobs, and then I added it into Yeah, son, could you zoom up on it a little bit more? Yeah, like that. Wow. There you go. Yeah, I know it's hard. Sorry. You might have to, like, relocate yourself. Son, that looks really cool, man. And then so the attack back on... was a very hard. <laughs> yeah, look at those shapes. Wow. So attack on Titans fans. Um, attacks uh, on Titan fans uh, should appreciate that. That looks really cool. The ODM gear. Yeah. Yeah, so it took us around the same amount of time. So Tezzy finished his tank a little bit, like, I would say like 10 minutes after I finished my arrow rig. Son, that's amazing. That's a really good job. Here's infantry as well. Throwing yep. a grenade at the arrow rig. Yep, we're in the ODM gear, and he's got the, the, the blades out. Nice. Here's a, a scout being... Absolutely being destroyed by this uh, cloaker. <laughs> and then uh, here's Tezzy's mounted minigun. Mm -hmm. There's all of his gun models over there. He always, he always have like a two, at least two of both of these in each obby for some reason. Uh huh. And here's a mech mech model. Yeah, so this was originally mine, and this was Tezzy's. Okay. You can see they're the same thing, because uh, I kind of just took mine and then fused it with his, and then we had it. Right. Yours are missing the heads. <laughs> yeah, my, I just didn't add a head on mine. Here's a commander with his very big boots for some reason. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and just go around the guy made commander. I don't know why. I don't know why, but when usually when an Anders Goran guy makes boots, they're very big. <laughs> like the That's his style. For some and then he and then his head, his like forehead is very flat, and his, this is actually a hollow cylinder right here. Yeah, but that's the arrow rig, which took a uh, concerning amount of time. <laughs> Same for Tezzy's tank as well. That took also a concerning amount of time. Mr. Shut Mountain coming in at the end of the chat. Yeah, but you can see if, if I go to my guy... Uh, you can see he has some of the stuff from the arrow rig. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like some of the straps are based off of the arrow rig as well. Yeah, I saw you lurking back there, shot. <laughs> looks, uh, shot. Looks like Nova's finished the world tour, huh? called out <laughs> all right kachi it is um it is 5 30 would you like to wrap things up yeah all righty viewers you got to forgive me for some reason i'm very very tired well it's not for some reason it's because i was up all night long working now i'm a little burned out this afternoon it's like the like the old days all right uh Thank you, everybody, for joining us for Kachi time. Kachi's probably going to hop into the office here. Let us wrap things up. I know our fellow streamer and buffoon crafter and good friend Angel by you is streaming right now, so I think we're going to raid out to her. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just, since I'm already in Obby Creator, I'm just going to say bye now. Okay, alrighty. And um, just remember that we do this Kachi time stream every Sunday from 4 to 6 Sometimes 5.30, uh, sometimes goes 90 minutes to, to maybe two hours sometimes. Um, our next stream should be Wednesday. Uh, that should be noon to 2. 
and uh, that'll be Generations, and we'll be in the creative mode test world, uh, designing Baby Zombie Rush, and then uh, the following Friday will be our last season four buffoon craft stream, and hopefully the build will be all finished by then. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be as finished as it's going to be because that is the last day. I have a little bit of work I can do on Saturday, and that's about it. And then season four wraps up. So uh, let us uh, put in the, why are you up so late? Deadlines, my friend, deadlines, that's why. Uh, let's see. Let's do our raid message. Let's put that into the chat. Thunder raid, boom shakalaka. You can copy and paste that into chat if you would like to join us. I highly recommend that you do. Let's set up our raid for Angel. I think that's typed correctly. And uh, family-friendly viewers, uh, just, just a heads up, that sometimes there's a little bit of mature language in there. But uh, Angel is a wonderful streamer and a lot of fun, and she has a very, very fun community. So uh, even if you can't st stay for the entire stream, you know, I suggest, uh, you know, at least drop by, uh, t uh, take a peek in, say hi, and uh, maybe drop a follow or sub if you feel so inclined. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, everybody, enjoy the rest of your afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you happen to be. And thank you for joining Kachi and I. Kachi had a lot of fun showing you guys all his work. So proud of that kid. Alrighty, uh, with that, let us raid out. Bye for now, everyone.